Guys, it's Vishal from Geek Start. So let me summarize whatever we have done until now. So we created an instance, okay, and we installed Postgres SQL. We configured the server. We downloaded the con configuration files. We made sure only local users can access the database. Then we like we also created users. We created a database, and then we went on to Glassfish. So first we downloaded Java. We configured it to use the JDK 1.8 by default then we installed glassfish we configured it we also made sure that everything we do is secure via remote console because we are going to use it uh, over the web interface and we need to make sure everything the traffic passing between the web interface and the server is like secure so we have configured all of that until now now is the time to connect to your glassfish server postgres sql and we are going to do that now so first let me make su sure like the domain is running so i'm going to go into glassfish oh no i can actually stay here no i actually need a jdbc driver to connect my java glassfish server with postgres sql and to do that i need to go into glassfish and i am root right now so let me go to usr share glassfish 4 i need to go into glassfish i need to go into domains and domain 1 which is our domain so i am in this location and i need to go into libraries because i need to download that library so what you're going to do is do a wget and you're going to google jdbc postgres sql driver and this will take you to the official page for Postgres SQL and you go to download or let me show you through the office official page it's like a simple page you just have two links so wait for this to finish okay so click on download these are the list of drivers that are available these are the old ones and these are the latest ones and we are going to use 9.4.1212 and we are going to use the 4.0 because 4.1 4.2 oh we can also use this but i usually go with 4.0 because it is more stable so i'm going to copy this link and i'm going to come into my putty and paste it so just to make sure that i am in this directory domain one and no in library inside domain one so once it has been downloaded what you oh i already had this so let me remove the old one just for you guys so rm postgres sql so i have removed this i will also remove dot one let me download this again so you guys know that i did it right now so this is the one that i have downloaded ls minus l grep postgres and you will see this file that we just did download via wget so once you are the, here exit because we have the driver that will help us connect the glassfish server with our postgres sql server now i am root i am going to make sure that the service glassfish is running status so i don't think it's running i don't know why so I'm going to start the service. Oh, it's already running. So that's why. Uh, this is the thing that we did with check config chk uh, config that we did. We made sure that when we run this commands, it actually goes into the ES admin and runs the domain. So it is already running. So it is going. The start has failed. What I can do now is actually stop this and start again just to make sure because i just downloaded the drivers and it is going to download i will copy the public dns until then and we are going to 4848 which is the web console and once you are in the login with your admin username and password i have my 
last pass so it should autofill itself come on and you know what's actually cool about this this server is actually running on your cloud instance that we created so this is not some server that is running on my local machine this is actually on the internet this is this server this server that we have over here this is actually running this so when i entered this address it actually made a request to this server which responded with this classfish login page and every time i'm doing anything on this page or on this website on this address it is actually coming through my glassfish cloud server so you have your server running which is actually working right now now we are just going to connect this server with our postgres sql and this is going to be a long video i think because i have to also configure the jdbc pool which is something where you put all the details of what you're trying to connect so jdbc is over here and you go into jdbc connection pools and you will have two pools by default so what i'm going to do is create a new one and let me name this as do db pool and the resource type is connection pool data source our database driver vendor is going to be postgres sql this will autofill itself when you select postgres click on next and once you do this you will see all these properties and we need to only fill a couple of them so first select find user and it can it can be like difficult to find it so i usually sort it via name and then go into you so user is going to be do and my password if i remember correctly it should be where's the password okay so my password is going to be do one two three exclamatory at the rate hash port number is 5432 the default one that postgres uses and local host 5432 slash do db do db is the database which belongs to do remember we ran create database do db with owner do so you need to enter your user you need to enter the password of that user you need to enter the port number and you need to specify the url you are trying to connect other than that i don't think there's anything else this is not the database name this is just for like reference so ssl uh, certificate is false that's all right so i'm going to click on finish and once you're done with configuring this you have told the glassfish server how to connect to your postgres so you click on this again this has been created so you click on this and you click ping to see if you, if your server can actually talk to the database server and when i do a ping i should get ping succeeded but an error has occurred so do db pool connection could not be allocated because fatal database do db does not exist but we actually ran this so i will have to go and check it again so let me clear this screen so first i'll go to postgres and then i need to drop into the shell so user what was it user ben psql minus p yeah minus p 5432 okay so we actually ran this create database do db with owner do it should actually like ideally give me that database is created i did a quit okay so let me go back in there so create database do db with owner okay i know what where i went wrong you need to end the sql commands with this 
okay so now the database has been created so what we are going to do now is ping this again hopefully it pings now okay so ping has succeeded so that means that your database is able to communicate with your glassfish server and vice versa so now finally you have configured everything and your both the servers are actually talking to each other so in the next video we are going to deploy the java application like a basic java application that is available on the internet so you don't have to write anything but you have done a lot of things like a lot of things configuring this so i will see you guys in the next video